Have you ever wondered how you can easily do fast cuts between camera and camera with logos and titles and how you can make it as easy as possible? In Final Cut Pro, if you're wanting to do, this is called a multi-cam edit or multi-cam synchronization. I'll show you how in Final Cut Pro, you can go from camera to camera with your logos and it's as fast as possible in the editing process. So it's just a case of simply click, 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 click. Here's how it's done. See, focus, see you later. Once you've got the, your files downloaded, you've got them up in the Final Cut Pro X, or Final Cut Pro 10, I should call it. Um, what I do is I bring each one into the timeline and I add the text or the logos that I want onto each individual one. So over on the right hand side, you've got your text bar here. I'll just go for a basic title, bring it along here, add it along. So this was shot with the GoPro. So I'll add the text for this. Click on this button to bring up the parameters at the side. Change the text saying Go Pro Hero 5. And then I've got the ability to move that around wherever I want. Let's say I have that up there. Give it a drop shadow. Make it a bit bigger. Give it a bold. Nice. Leave that on that one. And then I'll add another one for the second camera. Now this was the Panasonic G7. So what I've done is I've just done copy and paste over to the next side and it's saying GoPro Hero 3. So what I'm going to do, just make sure I highlight that, move it over to the other side, click it, get hold of it, and then change the text. And Panasonic GH, no, G7. Maybe I'll change the colour of that one, make it dark blue, that is good. And then go copy, paste, I'm going to add it to the next one, make sure it's in the same kind of length of the timeline. If I want the timeline to fill up the whole area, um, press command, no not command, shift Z, so that gives you the full it zoomed in as much as it can. And on this one, so I could have done copy and paste again, click somewhere here, maybe bring this one I'll just put it there, but I'll make it bigger text and give it a drop shadow that is red. Let's give it a red drop shadow. That should make it stick out. Maybe, maybe let's throw in an outline. Yeah, that was the Panasonic GH4 that I shot with that. Now, okay, so that's you set up uh, your your files. So once they've been rendered, uh, it doesn't even need to be rendered, I'm going to click a new compound clip which is the funny thing and G and make sure it's going into the same uh, folder or the same library that you've got. I've got it under hippo dancing and I'm going to do that with both of them or all three of them I should say. Right click and then here again funny symbol G, nobody knows what that means and we'll let them render for a second there and what happens is they pop up in your in your browser section. So if we close down the library, we've got the browser here. So here, we've got the three compound clips, which is effectively the, the compound of the text and the, and the video. Right click, now here's the important bit, go to new multicam clip. And this will do it, a lot of the stuff automatically. If it doesn't work, we can still change everything, but this is how to do it. New multicam clip. Pretty much usually working in automatic, automatic, use audio for synchronization, usually works absolutely fine. I will just click OK for that, give it a second, and it's done it very fast. So pretty happy with that. I will just drag that in, and norm normally we're miss no, we're missing a file. It's lost a bit. Okay, so it hasn't completely worked. <laughs> so let's, uh, if we need to edit this in some way, right click. And then, where are we? We go to Open Angle Editor, down here. And, ah, right, okay, for some reason this has put that on the same, ang on the same angle at the end, so that's wrong. <laughs> uh, what we can do is we can go Add Angle, so, sorry, to, to add an angle, go to the little downward arrow here, and 
add angle. And now we should be able to just drag this one down below. So now we've got the three angles. Again, I'm going to press um, Shift Z to zoom out as much as possible so we get as much kind of area on this on the on the screen to really match up the audio parts. Uh, I'll just bring in the first section, which isn't very important. And effectively, you're just matching up waveforms here. So all you really need to do is find the first bits of waveform and that will work together. So just line them all up, let's see. Oh, you can easily do fast cuts. And if you want to hear how the audio is, just click on the little audio sounds at the side there. I would say only to do it at a time. So let's hear, turning on. Have you ever wondered how you can easily do fast cuts between cameras? That sounds pretty good. So this, okay, this is more the manual version. So this is a long version I'm showing you just now. But that seems to be all pretty good. I might just move this one. One frame along that way, this one, one frame along that way. That should sound good now. Have you ever wondered how you can easily do fast cuts? Cool, so as you can see up here in the top, uh, in the angle viewer, we've got all three angles between camera rolling at the same. So all we need to do to get back out of that, this little arrow to the left, and now this should be working. So if we take out the black bit at the start, because again, we're just looking at the audio parts here. Bring that in, and at this side, bring that in. What I can also do is just delete all this additional footage that I've got here. And this is where it gets fun. This is where you feel like a full TV exec. Uh, I'll just, first of all, I'll just close down the browser bit. So hide browser, so I've got as much space as possible. Don't need to see uh, the editing area. So here's my bit. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at this video and I've got the little, uh, what do you call it, the razor, the cut uh, for me to choose which one I go to. And I can choose whether I go to both the video and the audio or just the video or just the audio that I can cut away with. Sometimes a lot of people want to use just the audio from one camera. So if we, I think I had the microphone on the GH7. So from the, far, uh, from the start, the audio of the GH7, and then I'll just change the video of the rest of it. So all I do is I start pressing play. How you can easily do fast cuts between camera and camera with logos and titles, and how you can make it as easy as possible. In Final Cut Pro, if you're wanting to do, this is called a multi-cam, edit or multi-cam synchronization. I'll show you how in Final Cut Pro you can go from camera to camera with your logos and it's as fast as possible in the editing process. So it's just a case of simply click, 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 click. Here's how it's done. See you, okay. See you later. And that's it. That's you done. Again, you'll probably need a fairly fast working computer to be able to do it and use the proxy media is probably the best way um, to get it so it runs smoothly like that. And you need to have pretty good eyes to know exactly which one you are clicking on. But there you go, that's how you do multi-clam, multi-clam, multi-clam editing. <laughs> fast and fluently. Cheers, bye. Have you ever wondered how you can easily do fast cuts between camera and camera with logos and titles and how you can make it as easy as possible. In Final Cut Pro, if you're wanting to do, this is called a multi-cam edit or multi-cam synchronization. I'll show you how in Final Cut Pro, you can go from camera to camera with your logos and it's as fast as possible in the editing process. So it's just a case of simply Click, 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 click. Here's how it's done. See, focus, see you later.